How do you feel? I can't feel a damn thing tied up like an animal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. I'll come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on in. I'm not going to be long. Well, looks like you're handling the new antibiotic very well. Does that mean no surgery? I can't promise that. What you need is the surgery. What I need is to get out of here. I have things to do. We've got to take care of that hand first. I'll be back in a little bit. I can hardly wait. So, would you like something to read, Mr. Watson? No. Some juice, perhaps? No. Is there anything I can do for yeah, you? Yeah, you can get the hell out of my room. <laughs> All right. If you need anything, if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. My job is to make you as comfortable as possible. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Uh, my name's Gladys. I'm new here, but you can ask one of the nurses and they'll find me for you. Uh, the nurses don't give a damn about me. Well, then remember me, Gladys. Well, wait a second, wait. Wait. Oh, actually, there is something you can do for me. Well, I'm glad. Tell me what it is. Uh, loosen these. I don't think I can do that. Uh, of course you can. It's very easy. No, I don't think that... You just said you wanted to help me, right? Yeah, I know, I'm but... I'm giving you that opportunity. I'm not asking you to untie them. I'm asking you to loosen them, that's all. They're too tight. They're cutting off my circulation. Come here a second. Come here. Come on, closer. I'll look on bite. See how they're fastened? Take a good look. Yes. Yeah. All you have to do is untie that snap. Come on. It's not that complicated, Gladys. That is your name, isn't it, Gladys? Huh? That's a nice name. <laughs> Sounds dependable. I feel like I can depend on you. Gladys, if you would loosen these, I would be eternally grateful. I can't. Oh, for God's sakes, why not? I need permission. I give you permission. No, I can't touch them without a doctor's permission. You'll just okay. have to ask the nurse. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can understand why you wouldn't do me a favor. I haven't been very nice, have I? That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. I've been complaining all along that nobody in this hospital cares. Finally, I meet somebody who does care, and all I do is treat you rudely. Oh, well, you're not being rude. I was being rude. The only excuse I can offer is that I'm extremely uncomfortable. I hope you understand why I can't help you. I do understand. I do understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Frankly, it's a nice change to find somebody here who takes a job seriously and still treats me like a human being. Well, thank you. I try to do that. It's so important. It's all important. You understand how incredibly emasculating it is for a man to lie here tied up like this? But you're getting well. That's what they keep telling me. If I don't, I will. Wait, wait, don't say that. Think positively. Uh, yeah, positive. All right, all right. I'm thinking positively. I am going to get well. I am going to get out of here. Indeed you are. Indeed I am. Gladys, there is one more favor you could do for me. Well, if I can, yes. Get me some clean clothes, please. For when I get out of here. <laughs> I should be able to do that. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll go check with social services right now. Oh, Gladys, you're going to do a hell of a lot more than that for me. A hell of a lot more. Here it is. Just what you wanted. Oh, no, correction. Correction who I wanted. I was wondering if I was going to see you again today. It's been very lonely in here. Uh, must be. Here like this, I can't imagine. Sure you can. You understand perfectly. Yes. Up. Uh, here are the clothes you wanted. I kind of had a guess at the size. I'm sure they'll be fine. You're an amazing woman, Gladys. Thank you. You really are. Would you mind putting them in the drawer for me? Or, or the closet, whichever's easier? Yes, indeed. I enjoy looking at you. 
You have a very special way of moving. Well, I uh, guess that's it then. Oh, do you do you have to go so soon? Oh, my goodness. Could, could you do me a favor? Could you cover me, please? Oh, my well, shirt. Sure. It's cold. You could use the robe. Thank you. I wonder if I could impose on you once more. Oh, depends on what it is. Actually, it's embarrassing to even have to ask. Oh, it won't hurt to ask. Go ahead. See, before I was brought in here, I was mugged. My wallet was stolen. You're mugged, dear. They took everything. My credit cards. Driver's license, cash. It's terrible. Yes, it is. It's a terrible thing to do to a man to leave him so helpless. This is degrading for me, but... I wonder if you could possibly loan me $25. Just until I get out of here. That, that would help me get to the bank until I get things straightened out. I, I promise I'd pay you back. Better yet, better yet. I'll take you out to dinner. I'll take you to the Port Charles Hotel. You wouldn't have to do that. Oh, I'd love to do it. It would be my pleasure. I'd be flattered if you'd come. I... I'm sorry, dear. Do I seem too forward? No, it's, it's not that. It's just that, um... Go ahead, Gladys. You can talk to me. No, I, I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy listening to you. It's just that, uh, I can't lend you any money. It's against the rules. There's another way. Hey, I'll call social services. No! No! Wait, what? Uh, damn it! What is it? Uh, my head, I hurt my head. I'm sorry, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, get out of my room! Get out of my room! I'll get, get out! I'll get a nurse. Uh, uh, uh. Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? Don't I look fine? Sure. I hurt my hand. I'm all right. I'm really? All right. Yes, really. I'm fine now. I, I feel... I feel all right. I'm much more relaxed. Well, good. Maybe the medication is finally taking effect. I'm sure it is. Could you do me a favor, please? Sure. For God's sakes, could you please loosen these or untie them for me? Please. I'm going to have to ask the doctor about that. What are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh honey, I'm sorry. Oh, what's happened? It's all right. I just saved a patient in a war and I nearly lose my life walking down the hall. I'm sorry. It was a joke. You all right? What's the matter? You know this guy in here? Watson? Yeah? I know him from somewhere. From where? Well, I don't know. I mean, it has to be Port Charles. I never go anywhere. Would you do me a favor? Sure. You can go back in there with me and uh, see if you recognize him. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I don't mean to disturb you. I just need to make a little notation here in your chart. What am I, the elephant man? Well, that should do it. We're going to try not to bother you again for a while, okay? You just get some rest. It's comforting. Well, I mean, he has the beard. He wouldn't really look at me. He has the bandage, but he doesn't look familiar. Sorry. See you later. 